Uh, yeah, it's been an excellent year. Um, the trust is up over 32% in NAV terms, ahead of the benchmark by around 10%. So that can be described as an excellent year. Um, and I suppose in context of where we started the year, after a very difficult Q4-18, with the backdrop of Brexit, political uncertainty, you know, trade wars, you know, President Trump, um, the markets have climbed the wall of worry and it's been a really, really good year for UK smaller companies. And for us personally, that's really a combination of very good stock selection, um, but also a positive impact of gearing as well on the trust. Um, so gearing is basically borrowing. We can borrow money to invest in the market. It's one of the advantages of investment trust. Uh, we currently have around 8% gearing at this point in time, and it's been between about 7 and 10 over the last year. So obviously within a, a kind of actively managed portfolio, there's always things coming and going um, out of the, um, uh, of the portfolio in context of things we either like um, or things become overvalued or we, um, we fall out of love with. So, you know, in terms of new ideas in the portfolio, we've added companies like uh, Kemmering, which is a aerospace or defence company basically making um, countermeasures, energetics and incensors. Uh, we've added uh, Benchmark, which is an aqua, aqua health company about um, pharmaceuticals for the, um, for the fish industry. Um, on the disposal sides, we're divesting some of the... Um, what we think is some reasonably overvalued things, um, domestics that run very hard. Um, so, for example, we sold Unite, which is an investor into um, student accommodation. Uh, also divested our position in Ipstock, which manufactures bricks. And both of those really are a fact they've, they've performed extremely well during 2019, and their valuations look very stretched. Well, the earlier question referenced the fact it's been an exceptional year in 2019, and uh, it's surprising considering the backdrop of what we've had in the global economic environment and, and UK politics and Brexit. Um, the recent Conservative uh, win at the election with a very sizable majority does provide significant clarity about politics. You know, we haven't got a potential left-wing, market-unfriendly common government, so that's very positive for the UK stock market. Um, we are more positive about the UK economy. Um, you know, the clarity around that about politics should free up investment, hiring decisions, consumer confidence and major purchasing decisions, and potentially we've got a some tax cuts and uh, a boost to public spending. So, you know, the outlook for the UK economy is better. On the other hand, share prices have done very well in 2019, valuations have moved up. So, you know, we're, we're optimistic. The other factor I think to, to think about is that we may see a pickup in M&A activity into the UK market. Um, you know, a lot of foreign corporates and private equity companies now have clarity about the UK as an economy, um, as a political environment, and we may see more inward investment into the UK. So, I think that provides a good, a good backdrop for smaller companies during 2020.